quick and easy guide on how to maximize your three rare elements that can only be found in specific star systems, with a little help from Chromatic Metal. Just a reminder that I stream on Twitch Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays, 6pm Central European Time. Links will be in the description below, including my social media. So back to the reason why you're here. The three elements in question is cadmium, emerald and indium. These elements are not to be confused with their activated counterparts. They are quite different. So let's start with chromatic metal, which is used for many things. Chromatic metal can be crafted using copper and any refiner, be it the personal refiner, small, medium or large refiner that you can build. Two copper gives you one chromatic metal. Copper is found in deposits in yellow star systems, but we'll get to that later. These star systems are the most common star systems. Chances are you're in a yellow star system as we speak while looking at this video. A quick rundown on the four classifications of star systems. When you open your galaxy map, you can see all the different star systems indicated with the colors, always starting in your current star system. You get yellow ones, they are the most common ones. Red and orange ones, which are uncommon, you need a cadmium drive to get to them. Green star systems are rare and can be accessed via an emerald drive. And blue and purple star systems, also rare, can be reached with an indium drive. The color of the star system can easily be spotted in the galaxy map. The three rare elements, cadmium, emerald and indium, can each be found in the different color star system. You get cadmium in red and orange systems emerald in green systems and indium you get in blue and purple systems. You can also get the activated version as I mentioned earlier which gives up to four chromatic metal when broken down. For example activated emerald gives you three chromatic metal. So when presented with the opportunity to get the activated version take it with both hands. As you can see in the video you require a terrain manipulator to mine these elements. Now that we know how to craft chromatic metal and where to get these rare elements, let's move on to the main reason for the video. So to go and mine these elements will take a lot of time and as we know time is money and we can't be wasting money now can we? What you do is when you get your hands on these elements, don't use it. Rather use this method to build up your stockpile. All you'll be needing is a medium or large refiner, chromatic metal and these elements in question. I'll be using a large refiner for this process. So basically you take one cadmium and one chromatic metal and refine it into two cadmium. This can be done for emerald and indium. Take one emerald or one indium, add a chromatic metal and you have two. This process basically converts chromatic metal into cadmium, emerald or indium. So if on the process you have 200 emerald and 200 chromatic metal, you can get 400 at the end of the day. Just repeat this process over and over. A lot easier than having to hyper jump between systems mining like a crazy person. And that's it. A simple way to increase your stockpiles without having to travel much. If you liked this video and it helped, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for free to the YouTube channel for more awesome content in the future. I also stream Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays on Twitch, links in the description below. And as always, good luck, have fun.